What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we'll be diving into the many to many relationship in Laravel. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. The third relationship we're going to cover is the many to many relationship, which is a bit more complex than the previous ones. If we take a look at our application, you'll see that we have three models to find. Post, post meta, and the user model. Now every post does need to be categorized as well. Now you can simply define a many to many relationship between these. So we need to create a new one. Now every post needs to be categorized. So how does that work? Many posts can be categorized to different categories. So let's say that we create a post about Laravel and Tailwind which you don't want to categorize to either one of them, but actually to both of them. Right here, we're dealing with a many-to-many -many relationship. Many posts can have many categories, and many categories can have multiple posts. So let's start off by defining the categories model and migration right inside of the CLI. Right here, let's perform the PHP artisan make me a model called category, and let's add a dash M flag to it. Let's hit enter. All right, now let's navigate back to our database folder inside Visual Studio Code, where we have our new migration. We're gonna keep the ID and timestamps, but in between, we're going to define a new string with a column name of title. Now this is where it gets more complicated. A single category can't have a foreign key constraint of post ID right here, because we got to add many categories with a specific post ID. The other way around as well, we can't just open the post table or migration and add the category ID right there because we're going to add many categories related to one specific post. Now in order to fix this, we got to define a pivot table, which will connect the two tables to each other. There are some conventions that we got to take into consideration while working with pivot tables. So let's move on to the CLI and let's go over them real quick. First, we're going to say that we want to perform the PHP artisan make me a migration command. And when defining migrations manually, you always got to start with the create underscore title. Right here, we're going to define a new table name that has the name of the two tables we're trying to connect in a singular fashion, ordered alphabetically and separated by an underscore. We got the categories table and the post table. And since C is first in the alphabet, we're going to call it category underscore post underscore table. Now let's hit enter and let's open it in Visual Studio Code because we did create a new migration right here. And we got to make sure that we add two foreign key constraints right here to connect the post table with the categories table. Now let's actually remove the timestamps and the ID and let's define a new table with an unsigned big integer. And the column name will be category underscore ID. Now let's do it one more time because we need to do the same thing for the post ID. All right. Then we got to define two foreign key constraints to make sure that the category ID and the post ID are both coming from the right table. Now this can be done by saying, well, we have a table which has a foreign key. The table name is category underscore ID. We're going to chain the references method to it and it's gonna reference on something. Now we're first gonna reference on the categories table where it needs to look for the column called ID. Finally, we need to chain one more method, which is the on delete, because we need to delete the values inside the pivot table once a category has been deleted. So we're gonna cascade it. Now let's duplicate this line of code because we need to pretty much do the same thing, but for the post ID. So let's change it up. It will reference ID on the table posts and cascade on delete as well. So we're ready to migrate our tables. Let's navigate to the CLI. Let's perform PHP artisan migrate. And as you could see, it has run the categories table and the categories post table. And I don't want to make this a 20 minute long video. So I want to add data manually inside the database and then define the relationship. So let's navigate back to Visual Studio Code, open our database client and let's refresh it. So you'll see that we have the categories table and the category underscore post table 
Now let's start off with the categories first, because they are needed whenever you want to add data inside the category underscore post table. Now we're going to add two simple rows right here. So let's click on the insert button right here, ID of one, and the ID isn't necessarily to add, but it's a habit of mine, so I'll keep doing it every single time. Title is Laravel. It's created right now, and it's updated right now as well. Now let's insert it, and let's do it one more time. ID number two, Tailwind CSS. It's created right now, and it has been updated right now. Now they both, now like we just added, they have ID number one and two, which makes it easy to add them inside a pivot table. Now let's go to our post table in one second, because we're going to add data for ID number 101, and let's say the last one, which is obviously 100. So let's open the category underscore post table, and let's click on the insert button. Now first we need to add the category ID, which will be one with post ID 101. Let's insert it. Now remember, we have a many to many, so let's add it one more time, where we have category ID of one and the post ID of 100. Now let's save it. We actually need to do it two more times, where we have category ID number two for post ID 101 and post ID 100. All right. Right now, we have enough data to work with a many-to-many -many relationship. So let's navigate to the post model, because we need to define the relationship there first, right under our public function meta. Let's say public function again. And since we're going to retrieve many categories, we're going to define a method name called categories. Now in here, we have a return statement to this. And like I said before, Many post belongs to many categories. So the name that we're going to use right here is belongs to many. Finally, we need to pass in a parameter, which is the class you want to relate it to, which will be category colon colon class. Now let's do the same thing the other way around as well. So inside our category.php, under our trait, we're going to define a new method, public function called posts. Now we're going to return pretty much the same because it's a many to many. So we're going to return this belongs to many. Now it belongs to the post class. So the last step is outputting it inside the browser. Let's save it. Let's scroll down to the show.blade.php file inside the block folder. And let's actually go right below our title right here. So let's say that we want to define a new paragraph. We're going to give it a class of PT, so padding top of four, and it's italic. Inside our paragraph, we are going to add the string of categories, and right below of it, we're going to add a for each loop. Now, we already have access to one post, but we're going to access the categories, and we want to loop over them as one single category. Inside the loop, we're simply going to print out the category title. Now let's save it, navigate back to Google Chrome, open the first post with ID number 101, and as you could see, categories of Laravel and Tailwind CSS have been added. Now let's remove the margin that we have right here, which is the padding left right here, excuse me. Save it, refresh it, and we have added our categories inside our blog post. This was it for this video where we dived into the many-to-many -many relationship in Laravel, if you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.